didn't do any cartwheels or forward rolls. We are six weeks out from the official Strongman Games World Championships, so training is underway. I've been a little bit ill, not getting into training as quick as I would like after September, but I'm back. I'm in my second week of training now, dead excited. So today we are going to do some overhead training. It's pretty much all for the overhead medley today's session. We're gonna do some barbell floor to overhead, which I'm gonna try and make as efficient as possible so I can get that first implement like on the day. Then we are doing some incline bench with the Swiss bar to prep for the block press. And then we've got a bit of a complex with the dumbbell and the Swiss bar. So it's, it's a good fun session, quite short, quite snappy. So I'm very excited for the overhead medley this year because I'm not gonna zero it. And I always zero the overhead event at OSG, so it's gonna be a real fun time. So last week when I was doing this, I did it off plates as the blocks and it rammed off the plates into my shin, so my shin's still a little bit tender, the bruising's just coming out now. So today the goal is to not hurt myself um, but we're working it says between 85 and 95 percent the comp weight the comp weight's pretty easy for me on a barbell um, it's 80 kilos so we'll be working at 76 kilo today and my aim for the first implement is to do like a reflex clean and jerk so I don't want to have to belt clean it or weight in the rack I just want it to be bum bum quick up and go so it's an EMOM so we're just going to be drilling that movement pattern so that when it gets to comp weight probably next week I'm guessing It'll be nice and smooth, and then we can move on in the medley. So, when doing this exercise, I wouldn't necessarily normally wear a belt at the weight I'm doing today, but because we're training towards the medley where I will be wearing a belt for the later implements I'm going to get used to doing the first bar in all of that kit as well so that's something when you're training to really think about not just that immediate training session but in the bigger picture if you're in a prep think what am I going to be wearing on the day because you need to get used to how that feels when you're in your off season it's a bit different it's definitely beneficial to train without equipment but in a prep think and train as specific as you can Mine. I've started doing some mindset work with um, another strong woman, Alexa, at the moment. So, in the front of this, it's got all my mindset prep work for OSG in. So, when I'm doing my sessions, I'm referring to that and then referring back to it again in my notes. So, the numbers are just what I do, and then the real work is on me noggin because that's what lets me down the most. doing the Iowa Gold Cup in November because I'm already doing reflex clean and jerk I'm going for an Iowa world record in the reflex clean and jerk and the two-man deadlift with a man called Mark Adock who is ridiculous got loads of records on the Diddy Stones loads of Iowa records used to be GB powerlifter it's gonna be mint keep your eyes out for that one Another thing with medleys, especially like overhead medleys, you might use a combination of training like push press, power jerk, split jerk, 
but I find if I flick between them in a medley it really throws me off so when I was prepping for the UKNS I found doing a split jerk on every implement really helps me to just get into a good flow so another top tip to consider I will be split jerking actually that's not so true in this one I ain't sp split jerking a block I haven't tried it yet Very serious training. <laughs> Previously, I've really hated incline variations because I'm not very good at them. And every time I go into it, I'm like, oh, incline, incline. But Alexis told me I need to change my mindset. So I'm going in, open minded, looking forward to incline today. Got to work up to an easy five reps and then just a few back off sets. So shouldn't take too long and it's to cross over to the block press so actually. Push the boat out a little bit today. Don't judge me for my poor pressing. One thing I've done a lot in previous preps is kept trying to go heavier because it's where I feel I need to be. But I need to accept this is where I am on this. It's not a strength of mine and I'm going to get stronger by sticking within my capabilities rather than ego lifting. So I'm going to do three to five sets of two at this weight. Nice and easy. And then get onto some complex fun. So I'm about to do an overhead complex of dumbbell swiss bar so it's just getting used to kind of transitioning between implements tricky implements swiss bar is um, emulating the block obviously in the comp it's yoke before block but for now this is what we're training so dumbbell is going to be between 40 and 42 kilos swiss bar is going to be between 60 and 62 and we've got burpees in between them so warming up now last week i was really scared how on earth do you clean a swiss bar but it's not as bad as you'd expect done well I always try and train both arms I know a lot of people favor one arm but I had an experience at my first ever Arnold in 2020 made finals and dumbbell just wasn't going up on the arm I normally train on but I had trained on both my left was a little bit behind but I actually got the good rep on my left arm at that competition so since then I just preach always train both arms because you never know when you're gonna need it going dumbbell burpee swiss bar burpee dumbbell burpee swiss bar yeah let's go Yeah. 
Oh yeah, the beast back, adrenaline pumping through my veins, can't relax, original, I am the same as these cats, I sting them if they never ever mind and they beeswax, I don't ever cap, but I'm wearing like three hats, never been a rat, but I know where the cheese at, you'll never get a trophy cause they all here where we at, you better believe that, when it's all said and done, I still be here standing, never took a loss and it ain't something that I'm planning. So Chloe, how do you feel, how was that? Hard, very very hard. <laughs> I can't breathe. I'm still shining, it's real blinding. And I'm getting hotter too. I'm top two, I'm not a two. You let the pressure bother you when I do what I gotta do. Let's go home. Coming close to me, flow is on the topic. I'm starting fires through poetry. The heart is out, staying loyal, no falling out. And if you step into the court, be ready, we balling out. Yeah, the coldest of teens, they know what we bring, don't try this. They know in between, we go for these dreams and silence. Hard work, don't mistake it for magic. Finito. That was meant to be three to five sets. I'd love to do five, but if I'm already feeling spent, the recovery's gonna be better, so. I've done the work I need to do. I can do a few accessories uh, just to finish off. One of my uh, old clients, Holly, she did block press recently in a comp and someone had said to her about doing double kettlebells, bottoms up presses for block. I was like, that's really smart. So do a few of them, a few more accessories, wrap it up, fish, bash, bash. Done. That's a little insight into my training for OSG. I think like five more training weeks than deload or fly out. So I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be really fun. Make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Make sure you like this video because it was highly entertaining. And I'll see you at the next one. <laughs>